More than 100,000 Americans suffer from dystonia, but until recently, it was hard for even specialists to spot it. In tonight's Health and Medicine report, Sylvia Lopez shows us how doctors are using poison to treat that disabling disease. I'm Sylvia Lopez. Tonight in my Health and Medicine report, imagine opening your mouth to speak but no words come out, or trying to drive when your head is shaking uncontrollably from side to side. That's what it's like for more than 100,000 Americans who suffer from dystonia, yet the disease is often misdiagnosed. I was pulled down in this direction, uh, into the right-hand side. There was uh, extreme pain. The tremor started when I was very young, in my 20s. Breathing uh, was difficult, eating was difficult. All these people suffer from different forms of dystonia, sudden, involuntary, and violent spasms of the face and body. I have spasmodic dystonia. It's a disorder of the vocal cords. Uh, they spasm uh, uncontrollably. Until recently, many doctors thought it was a psychological problem. Now they suspect it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. Its effects can be devastating. When I got this at the age of 34, uh, my social life, uh, I mean, had come to an end. It destroyed my marriage because what happens is you withdraw, you get depressed, uh, you don't know what's happening to you. Here at the UCI Medical Center, neurologist Daniel Trong treats dystonia patients with Botox, a drug derived from botulism that's often used in cosmetic procedures. Toxin is injected and temporarily deadens the muscle and quiets the spasm. Marla Handweiler couldn't speak without the injections. I get an injection directly to the vocal cords, and that causes the breathy voice that I have now. But the treatment is not permanent. And they need to come back if I tweet to sick man. The shots are painful and cost about $900, but patients say it's worth it. It's just like being reborn. I mean, I'm not even a religious person. It's worth it. I'm pretty brave. Doctors aren't sure exactly what causes dystonia. They suspect brain injury, stroke, reaction to certain drugs, and even genetic factors may be to blame. For more information about dystonia, you can call the Movement Disorder Institute at Orange Coast Memorial Medical Center. The number is 714-378-5062. I'm Sylvia Lopez, Prime 9 News.